It does not matter uh, what part of the state you're from, what uh, your status is in life, and certainly not your political party. This affects so many families across the Commonwealth, and it's devastating to families uh, when uh, opioids take over one's life. Uh, in Pennsylvania, we had over 5,000 deaths last year from drug overdoses. Uh, and if you talk, you just stop and think about that, that's 15 people every day. 15 people. That means yesterday 15 people died, today, tomorrow, and it just keeps going. We, in the past four years, uh, roughly have passed somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 bills that relate to the opioid crisis. By putting together various bills that when you put them all together, I think that it will have an impact uh, on, on the opioid crisis and the drug overdose problems that we have in Pennsylvania. As Senator Yaw mentioned, there are, there are no silver bullets here, but I think this package of legislation uh, represents a significant step forward. The legislation that I have sponsored as part of this package, Senate Bill 572, uh, requires that patients enter into treatment agreements with the prescribers. The treatment agreements would require new patients to undergo baseline and periodic drug testing to monitor adherence to the prescribed treatment plans. We need to target the drug dealers who cause this pain and suffering in the first place. Senate Bill 93, which I've sponsored, establishes a second-degree felony for delivery or distribution of an illicit drug that results in serious bodily injury. Creating this statute would finally help the judicial system keep the worst drug dealers off the streets and behind bars where they belong. Senate Bill 675 will provide the much-needed oversight to try and prevent the misuse of medications prescribed in treating individuals with opioid addiction. While we have a responsibility to ensure that treatment is available to those who need it, we also have an added obligation to provide whatever additional state oversight is necessary to prevent future incidents of abuse and diversion. My bill, Senate Bill 118, is the Recovery to Work uh, pilot program, which will create a pilot program with the Department of Labor and Industry, as well as other stakeholders, uh, Corrections and DDAP, to work to help individuals who are battling addiction into recovery, into meaningful employment. Meaningful employment is essential to long-term recovery. My Senate Bill 223 will allow our first responders and EMS providers to leave a dose of the life-saving naloxone with family members or friends who are caring for a recent overdose victim. My other legislation, Senate Bill 432, will allow for Medicaid-managed care organizations to have access to the prescription drug monitoring program so that they can have greater oversight of pres prescriptions to prevent addiction and identify and prevent fraud to stop abuse. Uh, we want to provide tools uh, to try and stop this. Government cannot solve this problem, but we are a, definitely an important partner. I had a niece who was a heroin addict as a senior in high school, and thank goodness we were able to get her into treatment and she's recovered and uh, got her life back on track, but it took about 10 years to do that. If I think all these bills are very important and hopefully we can, uh, with this package of bills, we continue to f fight the uphill fight. We're killing people that we love. We're killing people that live next to us. Uh, so as a society, I think we've got to begin to say, stop it. Enough is enough.